What is up YouTube? Got another video for you guys. Today we're gonna to be replacing the fuel pump for a new high performance fuel pump. Uh, I got this for free in the Facebook page that I'm in. It's called Honda Giveaways. And um, yeah, I got this free, but I'm pretty sure you can get this on eBay. Uh, here's the name of it. It's a 255 LPH high flow, high performance fuel pump. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and replace this. But first, since we are gonna be disconnected, I don't know if it's an electric fuel pump, but it does have the adapter here. So we're gonna re remove the, the battery just in case. All right, so now that our battery is disconnected, we're gonna go inside of the car and remove the seats. All right, guys, so my seats come right off. I don't really have to like undo any bolts or anything. It's just when I bought the car, that's how it was. Uh, okay. All right, see, they come right off. And that, our fuel pump is under here. So let me just take this aside and I'll, go, I'll be back with you guys. All right, so if you guys already know, my car is missing like a whole bunch of screws and stuff. But um, so they're supposed to be, there's, the, the cover here is supposed to be bolted on, but mine didn't have the screws. So let me just put this aside, I guess. All right, let's move it aside and then we gotta remove this connector right here. Just like that. And then we can remove this hose clamp and this one bolts right off. All right guys, and this bolt right here is a 17 millimeter bolt. Now there will be some gas leaking out. My car doesn't have too much gas, so the tank was like almost empty. So, you know, there's not that much gas coming out of here, but you yep, just be aware, have some towels just in case. Oh, actually it is dropping. All right, we're gonna grab a towel real quick, just in case. All right, so. All right, we're just gonna put to the side. We might need that later. All right, guys, so once you remove this little hose out, we're going to go ahead and remove all these little bolts or nuts here. And I think these are 10 millimeter nuts as well.
all right guys so once you get all those bolts out the fuel pump and fuel pump assembly or whatever you want to call it should just come right out Okay, so you gotta pull it out at an angle. Just like that. We're just gonna let it drip for a little bit. All right guys, so in order to remove the fuel pump, the old fuel pump from the little, I don't know what you would call this, um, I don't know, the little mount or whatever. You gotta take out this little, um, this little switch right here. Just prize right out, just like that. And you can disconnect this. And there we go. After that, you're gonna wanna uh, remove the little filter. All right, guys, I don't know if you guys saw what I did there. I pushed in and I pushed up. So in and up in order to get this out. And then now we're gonna remove this hose right here. And we can just unscrew that with a flathead. And there we have it, guys. That's how you remove the old fuel pump. Now we're going to go ahead and replace the old one with the new one. As you guys can see, these are pretty identical. It's just that this one claims to be a high performance one. And this is just a regular stock one. All right, guys, so the kit that I got didn't come with this little rubber gasket or whatever. So we're just going to um, pull this out and reuse that. All right, guys, so here's what I did first. First, I put in that rubber grommet, and then I just put it inside here first, and then we're going to put on the little filter because it wasn't letting me put it on the other way, if you guys saw.
All right, so we got that in as best as we could. I think that's tight enough. It doesn't go any any further. So hopefully it works out as well as it should. But yeah, guys, look at the comparison between that old filter and this one. I don't know if this one works better or we'll find out. All right, so now that we got the new fuel pump in, we got the hose clamped up. We got the little um, connector in, the fuse connector, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so now we're going to um, go ahead and put the fuel pump back in. Remember how we took it out? That's how we're going to put it back in. Putting it back in at an angle. Make sure all these bolts are lined up. Now, we're gonna start with the easy stuff and just uh, reconnect this. Actually, no, no, we'll, we'll wait to the end. So for now, we're gonna um, put all those nuts back in and we're gonna tighten them up. Not too tight, just like hand tight. Or, you know, you get what I mean, not too tight. All right, guys, so now that we have all these nuts tied up, we're gonna go ahead and put this little hose back in. And now we're going to connect this little connection back in, just like that. And now we can finally put this bolt back in. All right, guys, so don't forget to put in the washer in before here. So it's the washer goes at the end right here like that. All right, guys, and we are done switching out the fuel pumps. So we should be good now. We're going to go ahead and put this cover back over. I don't have any screws for it, so I'm just going to have to go find some. And uh, But for now, we're just going to make sure everything works. So we're going to reconnect the battery. We're going to prime the prime the fuel pump a few times, and then we're going to start the car and make sure everything starts up. All right, guys, so we got the battery connected back in. Now we're going to prime the fuel pump maybe like three or four times, and then we're going to start the car. So, you know, I can hear the, the, the pump turning on. Two, three, 
two. Three. And one more time. We'll do one more just in case. <laughs> All right, so the pump should be primed up now. We're gonna go ahead and start the car. And there we have it, guys. Starts up. No check engine light, no nothing. That's just the e-brake light. But yeah, guys, as you guys saw, this is a pretty easy, pretty easy uh, job. You know, took me less than like 20 minutes. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for so much for watching. As you guys saw, it was a really easy job. Uh, try it out yourself you know let me know if you do try it let me know how it went in the comments down below but yeah guys thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe peace out see you guys in the next video